everybody this is Connie and happy 4th of July even though this will not be shown on the 4th of July um, today is the 4th of July here it's my day off and I thought I would pre-film a few things um, going up a couple of weeks because I'm just so busy with life and with work and all this stuff the next few weeks I'm not gonna have time to do um, a lot and when I get off of work at night I just don't feel like it you know let's get started and we'll just chat um, I'm gonna use my spackle by Laura Geller today for my primer this is my absolute favorite pri primer I've ever used I love this stuff shake it up just a little bit got you in a little bit closer because of doing my get ready with me today you know I, I would think by now that you guys would probably be pretty tired of me doing these but um, people say that they like them so I'll just keep doing them as long as you tell me you still like them I'll keep doing them if you don't like them let me know and I'll quit I just love the way this stuff feels on my skin, you know? It is like 3 o'clock in the afternoon here. I was going to do this this morning, and I just couldn't get myself out of my chair this morning. So anyway, let that dry a second. I am going to use my Lumi. I haven't used this in quite a while, but I'm going to try it with one of my... Um, toothbrush brushes I don't know what they you know I've heard them called that so that I'm going to try it with that so let's open this up I don't know how this is going to work I'm going to try this on the brush all right let's try this and I always use two coats because this is pretty light even though I'm not going anywhere as far as I know today I uh, still gonna use two coats Today would normally, if I had the day off, be a day that I um, would do all my running, you know, paying my bills, got rent to pay, going to the bank, but none of that stuff is open today. And tomorrow I have to work all day. So, it'll have to, Wednesday is my only short day this week because I'm, I usually would work short day on Friday too, but he asked me to work until 6 that night, so. Somebody's off that day or something, I don't know. There we go, that looked pretty, worked pretty slick. I didn't think that it would pick up like it did, but so it there's did. there's that. And I'm going to go ahead and do my concealer, and then I'll do my other stuff. And I'm going to use my little, my smaller brush for that. 
And today I'm using um, Better Skin Concealer. It's Super Stay Better Skin um, with a silic. Oh God, I cannot see. With a silic, a sil C, and it's oil free. And this is in the color 20, which is pretty light, I believe. Let's see. I've not used it that with this brush yet. This concealer with this brush. pretty good. stuff I've used already over there. Okay, there we go. I just think this this eye has got a deeper crease than the other eye. It, can, it never looks real good. And I don't like putting any more than that on because I don't like to cake it. So anyway, um, I dug in one of my drawers and I found two brow mascaras that I hadn't even opened yet. So I'm going to do a first impression on this one. This one is the Wet n Wild ultimate brow mascara and it is in the color let me get my nothing but brew net brew and net are hyphenated I didn't have my light on there and this is what the spoolie looks like not bad looking all right let's see what I think. Color doesn't look bad at all. I still can't get over that person saying that my eyes are not twins, but two different separate states. <laughs> and that was a no-no. Oh well. Well, I don't think that color is bad at all. It's a little dark, but it's not bad. I will definitely get used to it. I am, By the way, I am ordering a new Ulta, Ulta brow in in the brunette and the light um, I want to see what the brunette is like and they're buy one get one free this week on Ulta products so I thought what the heck I would try it out because I do love that Ulta one and the one I have is drying out so it'll be going in my empties. I have a little bit here. There we go. There we go. 
I don't think that looks too bad. Looks fine to me anyway. All right, this gets a first impression, so good, good so far. All right, and what I'm going to use for my eyes this week is my Tarte um, Rainforest. Come on here. I hate that my fingernails are so short now, but I'm having a hard time growing them. And this is what it looks like. I'm going to use the blush also. Now, I, I tried, um, I got this brush a long time ago for review, probably at least a year ago, and it is the NARS um, bronzing or contouring brush. And I tried to use that before. I washed my face and I tried to use it for um, my bronzer. And I just, I just, I'm no good at it. I don't like the way it looks. So I'm going to, I'm just not going to bronze or contour because why? When it looks like crap when I do it, I, as far as I'm concerned, I don't like the way it looks. So I'm just not going to do it. And I actually, I used this color, this, this bronzer. So anyway. So I am going to use, I'm going to use this um, highlighter in here too. Just this first color. I'll show you when I'm done. Whoops. Forgot to put on my primer. My Ulta Eye Primer. I'm not using any other one until this one's gone. Put a little bit on my finger and then rub my fingers together. Gotta be fast because it dries really fast. And I don't like to waste the product. Okay. Then I'm gonna put my base color on. And this is just like a nude base color. It's really pretty. So for transition, this color here, my eyes are really bad today. I am seeing double terrible today. I'm just going to go over that one more time. better. So I still haven't got my, after I'm done doing all this, then I will up or um, transfer everything to my computer and then I will put up my making it work. I like to have everything up by four o'clock, but on Mondays it just is not working out. So and Sunday is my last day of my work week, and I am tired by the time I get home on Sundays, so. So I have to do it on Monday, and from now on, I think we had another guy give his two weeks notice yesterday, so I'm thinking that my schedule is going to change yet again. Um... It would have been next Monday starting my Monday evening, which I'm really not happy about. But, um, you know, got to do what you got to do, I guess. And if I want more hours, he is actually opening that other bar. They're usually closed on Mondays in the summertime. And he is actually opening that bar. To give me hours. 
which is going to lose his, him money, you know. But he is doing it to give me hours, to make me happy, so. Even though I, I don't want to work nights, I will because I need the money and I need the hours. I'll clean my brush and then I'm going to put a little bit of gold. blend out a little bit here and make sure everything is kind of even. Don't have any stark lines. First I used this color for the base. Then I used this color for the whoops for the um, transition. And I used this color all over my lid and then the gold in the inner third. And in the All corner. Right. Then for my blush, I'm going to use this blush in the center. And then for my highlight, I'm going to use this over here. a pretty highlight. All right, there is the palette I used. There is the front cover. Still one of my favorite palettes of all time that I have. I use this probably more than I do any of them. It's just so pretty and it's got that darn um, purpley rose color in there that I absolutely love. Cleaning my brushes here. Okay, I forgot to use my mascara, and what I pulled out of my drawer was the Urban Decay Perversion, which, if you've been watching me at all, you know this is my absolute favorite um, mascara of all time. If I'm doing something else and then I I tend to forget to do my mascara. <laughs> okay. I also forgot to get an eyeliner out. I think we'll just go without today. I have people telling me, not me personally, but I've heard a lot of people lately criticizing the older generation, which I am, of using the black eyeliner on their bottom line. Tell me what you guys, what your guys' opinions are. And you, you, you know, as long as you state it nicely, I am not going to, I will not be offended, I promise. You know, if you don't like it, tell me, because I don't know. You know, it seems to me... Just like my one aunt used to always wear her blush so dark. She'd always have the really bright pink blush on. Well, you know, I'm sure she thought it looked really good, but it didn't. So, tell me what you guys think about, because I don't use it at all on my top lid, um, because I've got such hooded eyes, it covers up my, my eye eyeshadow so that's the reason I don't 
so I use it on the bottom and but I want to know your guys' opinion what you guys you know because I'll go along with whatever you guys tell me you know if you think it's too stark or if it makes if it ages me or anything like that tell me so just state it nicely that's all you have to do you don't have to be snarky you don't have to say oh honey that's an that's bad you know or something tell me nicely and and I promise I will not be offended one iota if you tell me anything that is for the good of me and and my channel and everything I promise I won't be offended you know just be nice about it that's all I ask okay lipstick last thing and I'm gonna use number 28 from the Kate line on Rimmel and it's a real pretty pink and I thought you know since I'm using kind of a, a, a little bit darker on my eyes because of the rose purple I would use a lighter lipstick and I haven't worn this in a long time so I have no idea really what it's gonna look like much foundation on my lips so it was harder to go on uh, for my other videos I'll be changing my lipstick um, this one will be going in my no pile it is too Barbie pink I really didn't think it was going to be this color I thought it would be a prettier color so, no criticisms about the lipstick because I know it looks bad. <laughs> anyway, um, I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. If you like this kind of thing, please give me a thumbs up. Follow me on Facebook. My name is Connie Jersa Barnes there. And all my links are below. I'm Connie4325 on Twitter. I'm Connie6344 on Instagram. I would love it if you followed me on Instagram. Twitter, I rarely rarely do anything on Twitter. Um, I like videos and stuff that are on Twitter. That's it. So I will talk to you in my next video. Bye-bye.